Hello everyone, I am Dr. M. V. Chandrakant. I am an oncologist in Narana Hospital and Aran Tagore Hospital, Kolkata. Today, I will tell you 8 warning signs for cancer. When to think that I will get cancer? When to get warned that these symptoms are cancer? Please remember, these symptoms should persist only when, the, only when these symptoms persist for more than six weeks to two months only then we should think as warning symptoms not that one day i have a symptom then i should think of cancer please don't get panicked by the symptoms so persistence and increasing severity of symptoms over a period of time only then these symptoms become warning signs number one let us speak of mouth cancer if there is an ulcer in the mouth which is usually painless and it is not healing over a period of six weeks to two months then it is a warning signs for mouth cancer or a tongue cancer number two throat cancer so if you have a change in voice or difficulty in swallowing which is persisting for a period of six to eight weeks it's a warning symptom for throat cancer both mouth cancer and throat cancer happen in smokers or those who chew tobacco or pan. Number three, let's go to breast cancer. If you have a painless hard lump in the breast, which is increasing in size over a period of time and the nipple is getting deviated towards it or you have a nipple discharge along with it. Along with that, if you have some lymph nodes in your armpit, these are the dangerous signs for breast cancer. You should consult your doctor immediately. Again, no, you, you felt the lump in one day, second day it vanishes. This doesn't qualify for breast cancer. The lump should increase, should persist over a period of six weeks to eight weeks. Only then you will think of it. Then let us go for lung cancer. Lung cancer, you will think when you have persisting cough over a period of six to, two, six to eight weeks. Or you have blood in sputum, breathlessness change in voice these are all features of lung cancer again it should be persisting over a period of two months only then you will think then going down we will think of something called bladder cancer difficulty in passing urine blood in urine these are the symptoms of bladder cancer then coming on to prostate cancer which is one of the most common cancer in males so when, when you, whenever you have an elderly gentleman of around 60 years, 65 years facing difficulty in urination, he goes to toilet, he cannot pass, it gets stuck and hesitancy, he is not able to hold it, urgency, he wants to go again and again. Along with this when he has a back pain, these are hallmarks and danger signs of prostate cancer, you should immediately consult your physician. Then comes cervical cancer or uterine cancer. So normally periods stop by the age of 45 to 50 years, what we call as menopause. If the bleeding happens post menopause, after the periods have stopped, one year later you got bleeding. This is what we call as post menopausal bleeding is one of the most important warning sign for uterine or cervical cancer. Then comes rectal cancer. Rectal cancer is blood in the rectum. It can happen due to uh, piles or hemorrhoids what we call. But if there is a mass felt and the bleeding is persistent, never ignore it, never neglect it. Consult your doctor to rule out the possibility of rectal cancer. Then finally coming to what is known as blood cancer or lymphoma or leukemia. So if you have any lymph nodes in the neck which is increasing in size and you have low hemoglobin repeatedly bleeding from nose bleeding in teeth bleeding in gums and fever that is persisting over a period of six to eight weeks these are all danger signs for blood cancer leukemia or lymphoma so remember these are warning signs 
and these signs do not mean you have cancer but you must consult your physician whenever you have the symptoms thank you